response was confusion. You know, after 1948, um, there was at first confusion um, from the Methodist Church because the Methodist Church itself, even in those years, was not necessarily um, homogeneous in its thinking um, as far as political policies are concerned. There was still, in fact, at that time, the Methodist Church had been led by uh, white people uh, from the time of the missionaries. We had not had a black person leading the Methodist Church um, up to 1948. So the, the hegemony that you had at the time was uh, people were not necessarily that they agreed with the government, but they were confused um, uh, with what should be the response of the church. It was after 1948 up to 1949, 1950, when actually the government started um, being explicit by what it meant by separate development, because that's how uh, apartheid was um, sold out to people. Uh, it, was, it was not given as this monster policy that's gonna at its go be bad and uh, uh, decimate the black community and all that. No, no, no. It was sold well. It was called separate development. Um, and, uh, and then Fervood, who was uh, key uh, to this, uh, was the prime minister at the time and very key to this policy, said that it is actually a, a policy of good neighborliness, uh, that you are all going to develop in your own uh, space and others, whites will develop in their own communities, um, in the cities and city centers, and black people will be developing uh, on the outskirts. Um, of the of the cities, but more specifically on the homelands and all that where they are coming from, so they don't need to intrude into the so-called white communities. Now, something like that, if it's presented like that, naturally, uh, people are going to start uh, thinking there might be something good with this. Uh, let's try and watch it where it's going. And others are going to say, no, 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 no. Uh, be careful with this. So the initial reaction was quite ambiguous and confused mm -hmm. until gradually when the policies were enacted, the policies of... Uh, Bantu Education, Extension Act of Education, the, 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 the settlements uh, dividing people according to where they were going to, to, to stay based on color and all that, people began to say, no, uh, this is not good. And then you had voices. And even then, it was not just the whole change. It was a few people, a few voices, that began to punch holes and thought this policy is not godly. This policy needs to be uh, challenged and opposed, especially when it started to take, uh, to divide people according to places of worship, because then black people who used to worship in, in towns and cities uh, were then pushed out. Uh, they could not uh, be in the cities and worship there. When it began to promulgate those acts that expropriated the schools, the mission schools, um, and then forcing them to be run by government and offer inferior education. That's when the church felt that they are being hit where it is hurting the most. Mm -hmm.